Morris here, and uh, a very nice young man. He's 19 years old, and uh, he, you're a student, he's a student, right. going to school uh, at uh, Guilford Tech. Uh, you know, I went there myself, so, uh, you know, a very, a very a fine institution. Uh, in, the, in those days, though, I had to go to Jamestown. So, uh, but uh, very nice, and so Billy is, is very fascinated. He has a, a hobby of researching Carolina Circle Mall and different things that happened there uh, over the years, and, and he just threw out uh, a story about something that I didn't even remember about a shooting that happened there a long time ago. We were talking during the break, and I want to talk about Montgomery Ward was the very last thing there at Carolina Circle it, Mall, it, wasn't it? it? It closed in 2002, I believe, January of 2002. And I went in there maybe a few months before it closed, and it was yeah. just a tragedy because it exactly. was a beautiful store at one time, yeah. but it became almost like an outlet store, yeah. you know, and, and you know, it, it, it was run down, yeah. the carpets were in bad shape, it was just, it was sad to yeah. see it happen. Yeah, the last thing we ever bought there was, I think, a Sony VCR, which I still actually use. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. Now, we got some pictures, and I want to go through these pictures and take a look. We, we of course, now, now, I had to pick this one out. Can you drop the lower third uh, blank? And and l here is here's something that's really great. Uh, because, and I picked this one because Halloween's a couple of weeks from now. So this was a special event at Carolina Circle Mall. Tell us about this, Billy. Well, this um, newspaper ad ran in the Greensboro News and Record in um, in October of 1994, 15 years ago. And um, every year they would have a um, a trick or treat celebration at the mall. They would. You, you could go from store to tour, store to store, trick or treating, and they'd have ghost stories and special events. In fact, I got an ad from 1992, and they even had McGruff the Crime gar Dog there. I don't know if it was him, but they had a special event there at the mall that that evening. You could get badges and stuff from mall security officials, and right. and they had like a silent auction and all, all sorts of stuff. So it's very interesting. Now we've got some other pictures. The ice chalet was was there when the mall opened, was it? Wasn't yes. It? Yes. And and in case you're wondering what an ice chalet is, an ice chalet was was a, a huge skating rink. And yeah. how many how many malls had a skating rink? Would you guess? Not many. The only other mall I can think of um, in North Carolina that, that had an ice chalet, in fact, they still do, is um, I think some mall in um, in Charlotte. I can't think of the name right off the top of my head, but um, it's right. in Charlotte, and they they still have one actually. They still have one? Yes, but um, unfortunately, it's going the way of Carolina Circle Mall. It, it might not be there much longer. Yeah. And, and, the, and the ice chalet was replaced by the merry-go-round. Yeah, that was in 1988. And we do have a picture of that. And so, uh, and so this is the same, very, very same merry-go-round that you spent many an hour as a young man. I sure did. I sure did. So, and, and, the, and here's the, the food court was around here, too. Uh, yeah. What was left of it, I guess, mm -hmm. in, in that time. Yeah, well, the... The carousel was built around the food court. Right. They had all kinds of restaurants there. They had Monk's Cheesesteaks and Cheeseburgers. They had um, Circle Cafe and Deli, which later became Subs and Spuds in, I think, 1995. Right. And for a short time, they even had a Taco Bell in the mid-90s. How about that? Yeah. And an Orange Julius. They had an Orange Julius there yeah. at one time. Used yeah. to have some great things at Orange Julius. Yeah. <laughs> that was before my time, though. But. See, I'm, I'm really showing my age. See, when I have these, these guys like Billy on there, I'm showing my age. And so, uh, <laughs> now, what, what is your fondest memory of Carolina Circle Mall? Out of all of the memories you've got of Carolina Circle Mall, which is probably the most meaningful? Definitely the, the carousel, because yeah. I um, that was the first thing I, it was actually the first Carnival related ride I ever rode in my life. And you brought, and you brought, let's, let's, we'll show this. You brought this. This is something I guess that's at your house. That yeah, you, yeah, I have it uh, by my computer. Because this is so important to you. The mm -hmm. carousel is so important yeah. to you. And so, uh, and we and, and we showed that picture just a moment ago. And you also, uh, you were featured in the News and Record in an article. How long ago has this been? This it, it was this you year. Wanna, you want to show that to? It everybody? was um, January tenth, two thousand and nine. In fact, this wasn't the the first time I was in the newspaper about this. When I was 15 in 2005, in, in October, I was in the I was interviewed as well. It was, it was smaller than this, but right. I was in there. Still attention, nonetheless. Yeah, though. yeah. So you get you get and, some. Attention. And, that, and that's actually how how 
my popularity about this took off was that article in 2005. Now you brought something else with you. Did you want to share that with? Yeah, uh, I brought everybody? several things. Um, uh, you want to share? We'll we'll, we'll uh, we're we're running really short on time, so we'll just take a look at some of these things and see what you got. Billy uh, Coors here, and he is 19, and he is fascinated. His hobby, it's uh, Carolina Circle Mall that used to be at Cone Boulevard and US 29. And what what you got? Well, um, shortly after my um my interview in the paper, yeah, uh, a man who also lives in McLeansville let me have this. He had it sitting in his old Volkswagen. This is a a promotional <laughs> item they had there, a blanket. Yeah. That and they gave hold, let's hold it where everybody can see it, and it has Carolina Circle Mall. On yeah, there. and it was um, they had some type of contest sometime back in the mid 1990s, and and this man won it there, and he let me have it back in er, earlier this year. How about that? Very nice. So you got so you got have you got any you got some other things here you might want to sure do show? Well, all right. Oops, I, not my oh, you're off. All right, I got you. Go ahead and well, let me get this while you're uh, while you're doing that. So what else, what now? Um, you've got there. All right. And uh, let's see. Oh, you got something. Uh, Blaine, can we get a shot of that there? This here is a um, a Night Before Christmas book that the Mall Santa Claus gave me in 1994 when I visited. I was only five years old. And it has the Mall emblem on the back and it has the, the address, um, 136 Ring Road. How about that? All right. And that's it. These are things. Have you ever pr maybe thought about pricing these to see what they may be worth? Uh, no. Are they, are they just really a sentimental value kind of thing? Just mainly a sentimental value and um, I'm also hadn't really done much work with it right now but I'm looking into writing a book about Carolina Circle Mall. Are I might you serious? have published locally for local bookstores. Yeah. And you're looking at a possibility of a publishing, maybe in publishing career at some point. Right. So right. this could be the thing to really get you Get you, get you off on the right foot, maybe. Yes. Very good possibility. We are out of time. I, you know what, this is so fascinating. And here's the thing, I wanted to take some phone calls tonight because so many of our viewers remembered Carolina Circle Mall, so this means that you'll just have to come back. Will you come back again sometime? It would be my pleasure. We would love to have you come back. And now you know how to find the station. Billy <laughs> Billy uh, was on, I think Tom Tom or something, that it was sending him all over the place, but now he knows. <laughs> how to get here, and we really do appreciate it. Thank well, you, I do too, thank you, Mark. It was, it was such a pleasure to have you here, Billy Core. And again, uh, if you wanna find out more about his fascination, it's home, tell everybody your website. It's www.homeofcarolinacirclemall.com. And they can find you on Facebook too, right? Yes, I have a, a Facebook fan club on there, 640 members so far. So far, and uh, this just, you can research Carolina Circle Mall and it'll come up. Yes, just do a Google search and It'll be there. All right, Billy, come back. I want you to come back. I definitely back. will. All right, good. All right, everybody, we've got to go. We will be back. we got more good stuff coming up right after the break. Stay tuned, everybody. You're watching WGSR TV.